Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Jeff at Geek Driven, uh, part of the Team Nerd Herd, and we're here for another episode of Week in Geek, where we talk about, you know, catch you guys up in the last week's worth of pop culture news. And it uh, looks like we got a new guest going here. Hey, what's going on, Ferdberg? What's, what's up, dog? Up? How you doing? How you guys good, doing? Good, hey, this, doing good. It's first time I get to meet you, so uh, yeah, uh, appreciate you coming on. Um, it is, I believe, the first time. Uh, Nearing Nirvana has had an all Asian cast here, <laughs> so uh, hopefully we could do ourselves proud. <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. Actually, I've never seen an all Asian comic podcast, so I'm really <laughs> excited about this. Yes, yes. Or well, at least not with more than one person. <laughs> right, right, for right. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I've I've been on a panel with like with Phil. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we were we were on the uh, the hot ten or not hot ten uh the uh what was it called uh oh prospect gosh. prospect yeah, prospect man yeah yeah, we're stuff, on man. yeah well while while you're here let, let's while you just get here um let's introduce you so introduce yourself to the audience please uh yeah for sure uh um uh, my real name is fernando i go as for bird the nerd it's kind of an old high school name i used to uh moniker i used to have back in college and high school and um i'm into everything like you know nerdy i do a podcast every Sunday every two weeks on Tuesday that deals with comic books. Our Tuesday show is more like NFTs and uh, I guess alternative collectibles like toys, um, movies, magazines, uh, anything other that's not comics we talk about. And uh, I do another show uh, for like a finance show on Wednesdays that just completely is kind of nerdy and boring, but it's kind of what I do on the side too. So or for full time, I should say. It's just so. another geeky thing to get into. Just another nice. geeky thing, yeah. Totally, man. <laughs> well, well, one of those geeky things finances your other geeky things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Pays the bills, All though. right, well, thank you, sir, and welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, easy, what's going on? What's going on? I, you know, I, you know I'm a member of Dairy Nirvana, but I'm trying to complete my bingo card of showing up to, like, every show on the channel. So far, I'm doing pretty good, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, because I've hosted comic book women before. I figured that was going to be the hardest one to, like, mm -hmm. ever, like, check off the checkbox. Uh, yeah, so I'm stoked. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure if you're a subscriber to the channel, you catch me on the long story short on Thursdays. Uh, and then I'm on like every other show that you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Aaron's been around for a while on this YouTube space, so that's for I, sure. I, I feel like this is like my second home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can't find you know easy on Instagram, I just look on YouTube. Uh, you know, after five o'clock Pacific time, and he's usually there. So somewhere, yeah, he's somewhere. <laughs> yes, if, you, if you're in the community, you know, you know. Yeah. And if I'm going missing for a week, you know, you know something's up, right? You worry. <laughs> Should be worried. <laughs> or I'm busy at work. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it's not good. Either way, it's not yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, before we get started with uh, the articles, let's uh, give a shout out to our sponsors. If uh, sorry, whoops. Uh, if you want to get 30 days of unlimited cover price for only 99 cents, you just got to type in the code Nirvana14. Uh, it's a great tool to have. It keeps track of your. Uh, collection and keep track of the market um and you know it's just a great tool to have um and then if you go over to our pals over at bird city comics you can get 10 percent off your purchase with the code tnh10 and then go over to displaygeek.com and you can get 10 percent off your first purchase with the code team nerd herd and uh of course we'll give a shout out to our resident dj at beast by monster uh, go say give a shout out to Eddie for us, and of course uh, give a shout out to our moderator Uncle Rudy, um, and then we'll give a shout out to the chat. We got GT Key Comic in the house, and we got Kingdom of Nerds. So, nice. Nice. Uh, with that done, um, oh, I want to give a big shout out to the DJ too. I finally figured out why my headphones don't sound good with treble. It sounds really good with bass. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that's why you need a resident dj uh I, okay I, I used to dj but i don't do it anymore or i don't have the equipment to do it anymore so. <laughs> well uh 
let's go on to our first article is Legos. So Legos told a Southern California police station to stop using minifigure heads to cover the arrested, uh, uh, you know, the perps. So um, I, I guess, I guess we've been <laughs> using them. See, so if you see that using the crying emoji, and that is freaking awesome. As you can tell, this is a Southern California news station, it's KTLA. And so, I mean, this is hilarious. Honestly, these are memes that would go a long way on the internet. Um, so awesome. It, it's it's just a funny little article. I'm sure they'll have to stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no way the L.A. Police Department or whatever can afford to go into battle with Lego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Lego doesn't want their, their Legos associated with criminals. So. I agree. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Get out of fun no more, man. Everyone takes away our fun. That's not cool. You, you know what? I thought it's cool, uh, you know, but... Mm-hmm. You it's know, free advertisement for them, technically. I, I think so, too. I sh- it's like, look, are- your dad's a Lego. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you are too sensitive. <laughs> but, you know, just to get a little lighthearted going. And then... um. If you guys haven't heard, Star Wars has a new treat coming to stores, Blue Milk. So you've seen it on the movies, you've seen it on the shows. So what do you guys think? Are you, are you guys wanting to try this out? Have you guys heard that this is coming out? I, I heard it was coming out. I knew about it. Uh, I'm sending a gallon to BGS. Is my joke. <laughs> but other than that, like the only other joke I really made about it was like, uh, I used to work at Starbucks and I was like, I hit up one of my old uh, store managers and I was like, I was like, hey, because uh, they were big into Star Wars. I was like, I was like, is your store getting blue milk so you can make a galaxy far, far away latte or something like that? Or I don't remember what I said. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Well, but I, I don't know what blue and brown makes. What color does that make? It probably won't look ooh, very good. God, I don't know. Oh, blue and brown? Yeah. Does that make? Is that is that incredible hole? No. Is that green? Is it made green? No, I'm pretty sure green is uh yellow and blue. No, what do you get? Blue. What do you what's that what was that old drink? Like not Alize, but uh you drink it you mix it with uh Hennessy and uh I swear to god you get green. Maybe. Uh, um maybe. I don't I don't know. I'm a purist. I I'll buy this and I'm gonna keep it sealed. And then get it graded. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta keep it sealed to get it graded, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, like what was the point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. CIB, <laughs> you can't do the CIB. You gotta have it. You gotta keep it sealed. All right. Well, enough about the uh, the blue milk. Um, you know, you guys let me know how it tastes because I that sounds really sketchy to me. Oh, blue and brown makes purple. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Way off. <laughs> well, I'm. I mean, there's a mixing chart where it gets more detailed, but like you can go into a darker brown. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, our first our, our first real article here in the news is uh, uh Anthony Mackey's are, uh, already confirmed that there is no Falcon and Winter Soldier season two. Hmm. Um, and uh, the next time that you see him, you'll see him in Captain America four, uh, and Bucky in the Thunderbolts. So. From my understanding, um, and, and this is just my, it is, an, it is an assumption. They actually probably had a plan to do the second season for this mm-hmm. and connect it between Captain America 4 and the Thunderbolts to explain why they've separated ways. Yeah. But I think that was also under the old management. And so that's why they, um, and that was all to, to you know boost up Disney+. Plus to get more shows out for it. Mm-hmm. And Iger's pretty much axed a lot of shows and a lot of movies. So, uh, I mean, what do you guys think of, of Falcon and Winter Soldier and uh, the upcoming movies? Yeah, I mean, I like that was actually my favorite Disney Plus show, oddly enough. I don't know, it just, it just resonated with me. Mm-hmm. But I can see, like, Bob Iger is like a genius CEO. Um, from the finance side and just like how he runs a company 
So it doesn't shock me that he would be like, hey, you know, viewership's not here. The metrics aren't, aren't you know, there. We're already making a movie. You know, why water down the movie? So it makes sense to me uh, that they didn't do a second season. Okay. I would have all just like kind of assumed that like the overall perception of all Disney Plus shows like related to the MCU like weren't performing as well as they thought they would have. Mm -hmm. So like it's kind of hard to like I would assume that it's also like kind of like uh, the Netflix model of renewing seasons for stuff, even if it did like you know had its cult following or whatever, you know they, they just move on. They just move on to the next yeah. thing and won't renew a project, even though like you could say like the majority of fans that did watch it like enjoyed it, uh, but just because it wasn't like meeting whatever metrics they're using to to sign on for a season two. But I would assume that's like like I said the Netflix model. Mm -hmm. kind of situation that people they hired former employees that were used to that so of course like into anything new they're gonna cop imitate what they were doing before right right yeah i i can't argue with people who who hated the disney plus you know television series um like any of the shows i just think it's a uh, it, it's it's a lot more complicated than just having bad shows <laughs> you know what i mean like right. no one no one goes out there to make bad shows it just mm -hmm. it's not a thing right it, it it could be a number of factors right yeah uh, uh, yeah it's it's definitely a lot of factors but you know people tend to see the surface of it and just kind of aim it there aim their anger that way but um we can move on from Winter Soldier and uh, we talk about Scream 7. So if you guys heard um, from I, uh, Scream 6, I think, had uh, a trio of uh, main characters and two of them dropped out. So now they're going back to the legacy characters. They've got Nev Campbell back and now they're supposedly, they're reporting we have uh, Courtney Cox coming back and possibly Patrick Dempsey. So are any of you guys Scream fans, and, and are you guys excited to see the old cast back? What? I, I like Scream movies. Uh, I haven't seen the new one yet uh, with uh, Ortega in it. Mm -hmm. uh, or wait, or have I? I think I did see that because it was streaming. Sorry. Short-term memory loss, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Um, so I, I I did enjoy it and um, I'm glad they kind of like instead of just rebooting the entire thing that it's like still based off the original like what start what it started. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. I'm not like against it, but I'm not like excited for it. Uh, I mean, definitely. I, I see. Scream One came out when I was like a junior in high school, so that brings me back to that. And the uh, cold scene, I guess I'll just say that because, uh, you know, it's PG-13 here. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't think I saw a Scream show or a Scream movie past the first one, honestly. But oh, really? It's cool, though. Yeah. yeah. I, I just I just uh, I think I, I graduated to Saw after <laughs> and I, ah, I latched onto hmm. that world, you know, so. Gotcha. That's when yeah. horror started coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. Yeah. But it's cool. You had something to add, Aaron? No, nah, it was it was just pretty much that like no, nothing much really more. So okay, yeah, yeah no, I, I agree with Ferd. Uh, I'm you know I've seen I've actually seen I think the first three or four, but it really wasn't my thing. Um, so, but I mean I I guess it's exciting if you're a Scream fan to see the original cast coming back or yeah. some of them. All right, and then we can move on to. Uh, Scarlett Johansson and the new Jurassic movies. Uh, it looks like they're looking for her to be the lead of those Jurassic movies. Um, I mean, good or bad, those last three Jurassic movies, I think they all made over a billion dollars each. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you can't really throw away this franchise. Um, and so I guess they're not necessarily rebooting, but they're starting with a new cast. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think of Scarlett leading this new cast? It's cool. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, like, I think the original, uh, like, the first, not the original original, but, like, the, like, the revamp or continuation of Jurassic Park, I saw the first one, and it was, like, cool to see, kind of nostalgia. Uh, beyond that, like, I didn't watch the other two, but it'll be cool to see, you know, uh, like, an MCU alum <laughs> go into a different franchise. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Why not, man? Uh, uh, Jurassic Park was, like, one of the greatest movies that I've ever seen, honestly. So why not? Oh, it should be fun. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see her in, you know, something different than the MCU. And so, I mean, this is a great, uh, great franchise that's like kept on growing. You know, something that was based off of books, uh, that what got popular when we were probably in that's elementary right. series, middle school. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't make me feel old. Dude, dude, I, <laughs> My bad. Do you, do you remember those like book, those book sales you had in ele elementary school? And yeah, you made, made all the books. Those scholastic like, books. Those scholastics. They still have yeah. that, you know. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Uh, yeah. I remember buying that book, dude. Michael Crichton, dude. Yeah, I remember buying that book as a kid. Wow. So that's that's a heck of a book to be buying from Scholastic at that young of an age, too. Yeah. That's a yeah, thick book. Well, well, that's it's how you crazy. can tell he's a nerd, like, you know, <laughs> <page book. laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was man. Jurassic Park was the first like word of mouth movie I went and saw because someone some kid saw it a week before me and it was like, you have to go see it, man. You have to go see it. And so um, I bribed my parents to take me to go see it with my <laughs> sister. So, yeah. yeah, it was one of the best movies, like those summer move blockbuster movies to see. And then the the sound that you got from that movie mm -hmm. oh it was wonderful yeah uh cool. all right yeah so uh if you guys haven't heard pirates of the caribbean is coming back um they're talking about rebooting the whole thing and not including johnny depp hmm. so i don't know when they're gonna do this because there's always been this rumor that they would have a female lead um and if you guys know pirates of the caribbean story uh i think there's a character named red who's a female um and it, it, that's all the disney ride stuff <laughs> uh but what do you guys think about them rebooting it not having johnny depp i, I didn't i didn't watch all the films for this i've seen i think i've seen most of them or at least the first two because the second one was the what the black pearl like curse of the black pearl is that what or is that I the think one? that's the first one. Or what was the second one? Um, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I mean, if if he doesn't make a cameo in it at the very least, or whatever, like kind of like what Keith Richards did in in the in his film, like I think it would be kind of a waste. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's connected at all. Is it connected, or just rebooting the whole thing? Like it never happened. Uh, I actually don't know. He didn't specify if it was going to be completely separate from that world. Okay. Um, he just, he's just talking about rebooting it. So th that sounds like to me that it's going to be a completely separate world. Huh. When, when I or, hear reboot. Or, or like years apart or something like that. Could be, could be. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's what, it's just what the director said uh Bruckheimer so yeah there's there's it, it's I think he's doing it because it's easy to not try to figure out the original cast's schedules or the past ca uh cast because they're all famous right um, oh Orlando they cost Lee. too much yeah they cost like, too much they're iconic <laughs> you <Yeah>. know <laughs> and and they can literally pick and choose what movie they want to do and when I, I did not even mean to say that because that's I mean, a, I have I have an iconic it. sign and a not iconic sign. I had no so, idea you had that. <laughs> I always have that because it's said so much on every podcast. It doesn't matter uh, what. I had no <laughs> right? idea. That's hilarious. I think that's the first time I ever said that on a podcast. Uh, I think it's. I mean, I kind of think of like these big like franchises that make tons of money, and like I'm cool with rebooting, but I feel like it's too soon to reboot this franchise. I agree. Like, like, what was the last Pirates movie? I, f I mean, I feel like, you know, 
Like right before wait, like... the pandemic, maybe? Oh, 2017. Maybe. Dead Men Tell No Tales. And, I mean, like, Johnny Depp is, like, to me, he's, he is, you know... He's the franchise. He's the franchise. It'd be like, we're going to redo, like, the MCU not have uh, Robert Downey Jr. So it's going to be tough to replace... Like, whoever's going to be the focal point of Pirates of the Caribbean, um, you got to come out with a with a killer actor, actress, whatever you're going to do. So Damn, I didn't know they had five films. Yeah, they got a grip of them, man. Yes. Yeah, I'm reading the years 2003, 2006, yeah. 7, 11, 17. What, what's cool about the franchise, too, is, like, like the past movies, they, they take, like, actual legend from, like, you know, pirate legend and they make it on film so it makes it kind of fun to watch right um but yeah man like if you're just gonna redo those stories again like sorry you have to have like an amazing amazing story and like a you gotta have a good trio of characters not just one because i mean Ooh, i hope they're what? space pirates <laughs> <laughs> well i mean they, there's so much they can probably do because there were all kinds of pirates in history right I and mean, i know they did the whole all the different pirates from the different seas but it, it was kind of gimmicky it was mostly about seeing keith richards as, as a pirate yeah Oh, or seen. just all of the all the different legendary pirates or whatever that you know from all the tall tales or whatever. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, let's uh, move on to our next article. A lot of reboots. Oh, man. that's that's <laughs> it, dude. It's that time that 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 time period. You know the, yeah. the era of reboots. Uh, um, we're, we're, it's. I think it's kind of sad because Hollywood kind of has this gimmick thing going, right? You're either rebooting or rehashing old stuff from like 30, 40 years ago. I so, can't wait until they start doing it for TV shows, like a reboot of Friends or something like something like a huge oh, show like that, right? If you didn't know, they're reboot, rebooting The Office. Oh, oh, really? They are? Yeah. Is it starting in the UK first, though? No, it's going to oh, be for okay. the US. So, yeah, they're rebooting that The Office. Um, I don't know if it's going <laughs> to happen, but I mean... I'm sure there's money to be made as long as it's written well. Is it like work from home? Is it going to just be like Zoom meetings the whole time? God, I hope they do. Like, I hope they do like a, a like a part of the season like that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, that's a whole new thing that they would be able to do. Like, oh, someone left the camera on. Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only left the sound on. You forgot to mute yourself. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean. It would be I, I would I would enjoy watching that. That's for sure. Yeah. But um, now they have a uh, happy Gilmore is making uh, is going to be uh, happy Gilmore 2 is going to be made. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be put on Netflix and it's already been written. Um, that's according to deadline here. Uh, I love this movie. Uh, it's dumb, stupid, fun, uh, had hella great one li uh, liners um adam sandler is a genius so i i'm excited to see a second one because there's no reason why they couldn't yeah you know and especially with golf right because golf you have like a long career oh yeah it makes well, sense i think of that yeah well and he started his career late too right and right like, yeah um i think it'll be interesting like i i mean it all kind of makes sense anyways with how much uh uh was the company happy madison right yep uh is involved with netflix anyways and you know um like adam sandler he's done a ton of films in the last five years on on netflix like even if it's nothing like comedy based or whatever like it's kind of cool to see him in something else or doing something else besides well the dramas but, he's done has been great too yeah that's yeah so I'm excited to see him go back to comedy too after doing so many drama series. It's like, oh yeah, don't forget this guy is still hilarious. <laughs> yeah, how about you, Ferd? What'd you think? Um, yeah, Happy Gilmore. I I remember like watching it like like kind of offhand or like coming into it like 20 minutes in. Uh, I wasn't like I wouldn't say like I was a huge fan of it, but it's definitely got like nostalgia for me for sure. So I'm down for a sequel. 
um yeah it's it's a i wonder what the you know hollow do sequel in today's kind of like sensitivity with comedy like it will be as like brash you know if they don't do as a as brash i think it's gonna it's not gonna do too well but right i got high hopes for it for sure I really hope he does stick to his guns and, and does it in the same manner as Happy Gilmore. Mm-hmm. And yeah, because yeah, yeah, I don't. Well, I could see it's not the I same. Could see, <laughs> well, yeah. I could see it being something like the opposite, right? Where where he starts out as a refined like golfer or something like that or whatever, and then someone like him. Or he has like some crazy injury or whatever, and then he has to train like a new golfer or like you know some hockey player or whatever, or like something weird, like some like field hockey player that has a weird arm injury or something like that. I don't know, mm-hmm. but <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, or I I could even see him uh, getting in trouble and them forcing him to teach new new golfers. You know, <laughs> yeah, a little Mighty Ducks kind of thing going on. Um. With that said, uh, let's move on to Snake Eyes. So Henry Golding of uh, Snake Eyes, obviously, you know, maybe not one of the best G.I. Joe movies ever made, um, but he has said that Paramount has grand plans for the G.I. Joe's franchise. Um, He's saying there are huge plans, actually. Um, it's sad though that his movie only made like forty million total. Holy cow! <laughs> no total worldwide. That is pretty sad. Um, I'm surprised they even made that much. Yeah, I, I don't know how you can still have grand plans because I think it's um was it Transformers uh Rise of the Beast at the end of the movie wasn't there a they introduced GI Joe. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch Transformer movies, so uh, my bad. <laughs> I, I, like, uh, I understand what you're saying because <laughs> I, 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 the only one I really like is the first one, and in, and that's even questionable. Uh, but I, I did. I, I end up watching them. I just don't watch them in the theaters. Oh, okay. and so exactly. I did watch Rise of the Beast. I think it came on streaming, one of the streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the very end. Um, there's a end credit scene where one of the characters from the Rise of the Beast, uh, human character, is uh, is being recruited by GI Joe. Huh. Mm. So they hand him a, a business card, and it's GI Joe. Spoiler alert. Um, but um, how, how long has that film been out though? Five years later. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's been out for a while. <laughs> yeah. Quite a while. Uh, it's, a, it's no longer a spoiler. If it's like, if it's like a year old, like not. No, no, no. It's, it's like it's definitely a year since it's been in, yeah, like a year since it's been in theaters or whatever. <laughs> see, like, I, I feel like the spoiler zone is like for people that really want to see it a month, right? It's generous. True. Yeah. For the people that are casuals and like that would probably never see it in theaters anyways, like, sorry. Like, yeah. But yeah. But anything like anything like released the first week or whatever without any type of warning, like screw that. <laughs> you guys heard it from Aaron, so if you haven't seen it in a year, tough shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Go see <it> right away. <laughs> Aaron's gonna he's gonna uh, ruin it for you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm gonna I make know, sure I, even I if I don't follow the franchise. I'm going to go see it and ruin it for you. <laughs> I know so many friends who are who are have kids and there's no way they're gonna see it within a year <laughs> i mean by the time it hits a streaming service and stuff like that like you know i mean i'm not saying like within the, the first week of that like but i mean i'm also not gonna wait to spoil not spoil something that long yeah yeah yeah, yeah no we, we we gotta move on we gotta talk about things and um, he's, he's basically saying Paramount is has plans for more GI Joe movies, franchises, uh, and also uh, teaming up with the Transformers. Obviously, I kind of talked about that end credit scene um, from the Rise of the Beast. So it looks like they are actually going to head that way. Um, what do you guys think? I, I had, did any of you guys watch Snake Eyes? And um, you know, are you guys? 
excited that they might be going further with the G.I. Joe and Transformers universe? Um, I watched the, the Snake Eyes movie, and I mean, the second that Snake Eyes has his mask off, which is like the beginning of the movie, uh, it kind of ruined it for me from that point on. For, uh, for the entire duration of the film, basically. Basically, <laughs> right. Like, from the, like the minute one, I was like, oh, it's ruined, you know? Um, yep. <laughs> And as soon as he starts talking, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then he's like, talking. Oh, damn it. oh man, mother. Um, but no. Uh, and then the origin was just like it was just bad. Like I, it's not. It wasn't memorable. It's uh, you know, it. Any character that is infamous for having a mask should have their mask stay on. Actually, I should say this: the saving light was Storm Shadow because he's mm -hmm. badass. Uh, I forgot the actor's name, but he's also on that Warrior show on Netflix, which yes. deserves a season four. Speaking of being, you know, Asian Pride and everything, like that definitely deserves a season four. If you guys aren't watching Warrior, definitely watch that show. But I think I just now started. The... What's that? I just now started Warriors. Like I think oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm like halfway through the first season. Yeah, it's so good, man. You, yeah, uh, yeah. I I've, wa I've watched it like three times. Um, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll watch it. And like, as far as grand plans are like concerned, isn't Paramount under like an acquisition right now? It is no, not yet. But there are a lot of talks of people uh, acquiring Paramount. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's just been some bids, nothing really serious. Okay, because I feel like that would complicate things for a franchise or a movie that only made forty million bucks. Yeah, you know. So I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt, I guess. I mean, you could just kind of chalk that up to the same thing as Warner Brothers, right? When they got bought yeah. out by Discovery, they had plans already for the right. DC Universe, but yeah, that, that kind of kind of thrown out the window real quick. <laughs> right, right, for sure. Uh, yeah, that, I don't know if I'd be excited either. Um, I, I get exactly what you said about the movie Snake Eyes. Um, <clears throat> I've always known the character as quiet and always had the mask on. I've never seen him without the mask off. With, until these movies mm -hmm. so it, it it is and like you said it's it was actually just a badly written story uh, so i don't think I, he's a bad actor yeah I, I don't disagree with that statement but i mean honestly like he probably didn't need to be cast as snake eyes if you yeah. want to show off his face the entire time like, i mean they should have judged dread him with uh you know like they did with carl urban mm -hmm. But he never took off the helmet. Yeah. Oh, where he just has like a visor or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the true Judge Dread, right? He never yeah. takes off his helmet. You don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a couple of questions. Like, is this the start of whatever GI Joe universe they're building, or are any of those previous live action films like connected with this? I think this is supposed to be connected with the Transformers movie. Okay, so this mm. is the start of like whatever GI Joe, the but universe, that can universe. easily change. That's kind of true as well. Uh, uh, I mean, I get it. You need some sort of starting off point, but if it's not memorable to anyone, like does it does it matter if they're announced that this is connected? I think yeah. I would have like tried to like, you know, if people asked like. I wouldn't try to advertise off of that point, right? I think they also messed up. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, this came out day and day with the streaming service as well. Oh, did it? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> I Wait, think so. But was it because it was in, during pandemic time period? Uh, Where, um, like, some areas were open and others were not? It came out in 2021. Yeah, so so definitely yeah. pandemic era. I mean, I um, guess, I I guess I could uh, answer for why it didn't perform as well in the in the box office. But forty million worldwide is pretty, pretty pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like, like Ferd said, I mean, they're they might even be. Uh, acquired by a different company, um, well before they can get this off the off the shelf, you know. So, yeah. Oh well. Uh, how about The Sims? Have you guys played video games? 
looks like they're gonna make a movie from the sims um and i believe margot robbie's involved i'm still waiting for the the pac-man and galaga film and all that stuff that was supposed to come from those <laughs> atari franchises so, atari franchise. until i yeah <laughs> until i see those until because they announced that like a long time ago right like yeah i'm not i'm not crazy remembering cuber like, yeah pac-man and cuber i remember those were supposed to be um, turned to movies yeah so until those are made like I, I guess I would believe that more, but I mean, it wouldn't surprise me either, if especially with Margot Robbie who did the Barbie film and everyone was like kind of like eh, like I could see it having that same kind of effect. Yeah, yeah. Are they gonna talk in that weird language that they have? Oh, <laughs> oh. Like um, I don't know. Emotion points, right? Or exclamation mm. points? Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> my one of my old coworkers. Um, her dad was like one of the founding mem like programmers for Sims. Wow! Oh, yeah. that's badass. Yeah, he lives in the East Bay, and uh, he's like computer science like masters and all that stuff. But yeah, he was talking about how um, like they would how they combined languages. Like, so the language they speak it's a combination of like five different actual dialects, which is really weird. But anyway. Um, random nerd fact for you guys. I mean, I guess that makes sense if you want to reach out to a bunch of different, you mm -hmm. know, as a big reach, a bigger reach than, you know, just the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, like, this will have like, the, if Margot Robbie is, like, attached to it. I wonder who was directing it, who, who wrote it. Uh, so I believe the director is uh, going to be Kate Heron. And I think she directed like the Loki series. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you know it's gonna be like super meta then. Vertigo Entertainment. Yeah, I, I would expect that, and I I would hope that um, it because The Sims, it, I wouldn't expect it to be a serious movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like, and then thinking thinking about it a little bit longer, like I, I've had several friends like, um that was like the only game they played was the mm -hmm. sims and then you know they end up loving it and no matter what system they have they always want to play the sims oh they keep i'm i'm sure they make sim new sims uh games all the time too i'm playing it right now sim city build it <laughs> <laughs> I, this these were one of my first games too sim city and stuff like that yeah so i get it uh yeah. we'll see what happens um and then there's news about the joker too being i mean they've always said that this would be a musical mm -hmm. but now they're saying it's gonna be like 15 cover songs so they're uh Cover songs, original tracks may be added, but for right now, 15 of them are just going to be cover songs. So it's kind of like a weird Broadway show. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of excited just to see the second movie, but I want to see the context of the mute, the songs within it. Are they just dreams or these delirious shared dreams that they're having or something like that? Um but what do you guys think of Joker 2 being having 15 songs in it? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you got like a pretty good actor and actress. I mean, they were both Academy Award winning actors. Uh, and Lady Gaga's got a, I mean, she's got she's a good. voice, you know, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and they, did, I mean, honestly, man, like they did the first movie right. I don't know. I, I know there's been a lot of negativity towards this movie, but like, I don't think it's for. I don't think it was made for comic book guys. No, watching the first one, you know, it's 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 for it's just the the concept of a Joker. So I'm excited to see the concept of a Harley Quinn in in this kind of uh, style. Personally, yeah. um, that's what I think. I'm, I'm I'm down for it though for sure. I I mean I've said it since they've cast Lady Gaga. It doesn't surprise me at all. Like that, you know. That they're going through with a musical thing mm -hmm. um she did american horror story so if people are worried about her acting in a dark element like you don't have to worry about that you yeah. know like that's already been done um 
And who doesn't remember when Joaquin Phoenix was trying to be a musician? Yeah, I, I think they, the, it, the casting is spot on with Lady Gaga. Um, she's always, since she first came out in music, she's just felt alternative different anyways. This fits this kind of weird uh, world where <clears throat> your psyche is is always in question, right? Um, so I, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to watching this. I'm definitely looking forward to um, seeing what Lady Gaga brings to this movie and uh, kind of what what Ferd said. The uh, it, it's basically Joker is not even a super villain besides the fact that there's three different Jokers or he somehow always lives through everything, but um, <laughs> he's just a regular maniacal person in, in all sense of the word. So, um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Captain Carter uh, is rumored to be in a couple of upcoming uh, items for Disney. So, uh, obviously, she'll probably be in What If Season 3, and they're talking about her being live action in Secret Wars. Um, it is just a rumor, so what do you guys think? Doesn't shock me. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, the What If one, like, I feel like that's kind of obvious that they can grab any of those actors that they've had in the MCU to do a spinoff, one-off, you know, episode or whatever. Because I'm assuming that's getting a season three, then if they're kind of having that rumor, um, the appearance in Secret Wars, uh, I, I think that's so far away that anything like rumored now is just just going to be a rumor. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I mean, like, I wonder if she's going to be like a like an A-list kind of focal point in Secret Wars, or like, is she just kind of off to the side? Um, yeah. I, 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 she was cool in, uh, what was it, Doctor Strange? Like, as part of the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. um, then that was, I, I thought that was the height of her, like, coolness or in, in, interestingness of, of a character, like, of, of her character in all the MCU. But, um, yeah, it, it's cool. But I'm not like stoked about it, you know. I got you personally. I got you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like we've already seen that. Mm -hmm. So nothing new. Uh, well, I know not the favorite actress of Marvel fans, but uh, Brie Larson is uh, her. All the the reports were that her future movies were going to be canceled um for captain marvel and but they do have plans for her um it looks like and i think let me just read this really quick so they okay so her she's gonna have two focal points for her story and i think it's about the quantum bands and uh getting monica back to 616. Uh, so I, I don't I don't know if you guys really do you guys even like the Captain Marvel character um, and what do you guys think of her not getting a third movie and just possibly just showing up in other random movies? Um, I think it'd be cool to see her in an X-Men movie and Rogue take over her powers. <laughs> but other than that, like, because <laughs> I mean, I actually like, and I'm not, I don't have any hate against Brie Larson or Captain Marvel. Um, you just want to see that iconic scene. I want to see that scene, man, because like that brings me back to when I was a kid, you know. Uh, and I think I've always felt that way about Captain Marvel. Um, the best you're going to get is the X-Men animated is series. the X-Men and <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> Seriously, though. Uh, but, you know, money talks like. Oh, where did Jeff oh. go? He's okay. like, oh, I'm done with the show. Can't take it. Too many Asians in here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one less Asian is good. For, uh, go to the order. I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, we were just still talking about the... We're actually the... making fun of you. but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, perfectly we were fine. saying that, you know, like, they're like, damn, there's too many Asians on the panel. I can't yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, world could handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too, too, too much goodness. Uh, 
No, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, I think I I think if Brie Larson as an actress, I think she's played Captain Marvel enough to where it's done its like run its course, I guess, quote unquote. Um, but I mean, like, I I think the she needs to pass the mantle on to Kamala, and that's a good way to to kind of end it there. You don't need you don't need to have her as like a main main movie, I think. So, yeah, I still haven't seen Marvels. Um, I liked it. I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah, it was I, is it is it streaming yet on Disney Plus? I think yes. So it okay. is true, though. I I just haven't. I didn't renew it because uh, I was paying per year or whatever, and it's oh, cheaper gotcha. for me to uh, pay per month uh, <laughs> now <laughs> through through Hulu or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, they and, just combined it, so yeah. Yeah, so I, I was honestly waiting for it to jump over to just Hulu and just use it as an add-on, but I, I want to watch X Men animated ninety or X Men ninety seven the yes. animated series. So you need to watch I mean, that, sir, and you need to watch Shogun on Hulu. Oh, dude, it came a new one came out yesterday. I, yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm caught up on on Shogun, so okay. you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, except I haven't seen yesterday's episode. So. Okay, okay, yeah, we're all on the same all, page. We're all on the same page right now. Uh, so. I was I was messing with my wife, and I was like, "Hey, uh, I, she has like a meeting tonight," and I was like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna watch a Shogun, okay? Is that cool?" And she like about blew up on the text <laughs> message. Man. She was what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, you could feel the heat coming off her eyes. Right oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She did all those like different like you know emojis on the iPhone and like you know like the. It's like you better stuff. not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another one that we do. Uh, Tokyo Vice is another one we we watch together. But yeah, okay. that's a good that's a good show. I've been good watching that show. too on Max. Yeah, it's oh, really gosh, good. Check that out. Tokyo Vice on on Max. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because what. Is it a new season just started right on it? It's about to end. I think the second okay. season is about to end. Yeah. Yeah, because I just I didn't watch the first season, so I'm I'm started there. Yeah. But everything I've seen so far, it, it's good. So good, well, man. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. All right, let's uh move on to another rumor then. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine. They were supposedly takes place. Uh, most of it's going to take place in the void. Which I mean, we all kind of guessed already, mm -hmm. um, and that yeah, seems money. <laughs> That's why. Well, I mean, Deadpool had that uh, the time traveling thing, so I assume it breaks at some point in time. Right. Uh, I I would assume he gets um, what do you call it? He gets uh, pruned, uh, and and because he doesn't listen to the TVA. <laughs> Because he does oh, his own thing. Is, is, uh, it, is that when he becomes spaghetti or whatever? Yeah. See, I don't. I don't know if that's. <laughs> Wait, he becomes spaghetti. Wait, is it? Isn't what that? What prune is? No, no, no. Uh, the rod. No, no. Yeah, the rod where he gets sent to the void. Oh, okay. Uh, gotcha. You know what's funny about this whole Deadpool? Like they keep talking, and it's like the only "quote unquote" Marvel movie coming out this year. Like, are you guys like big football fans? I don't know if you guys are big football fans, but like, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, there'd be like two mock drafts. Now there's like 17 mock drafts. <laughs> this is what it reminds me of. There's like 17 different, no, oh, the story's doing this. And like, uh, so like, I feel like the way they talk about this movie, it's coming out like in a week, but it's not coming out till freaking July. July. So I think, yeah. I feel by the time that we get, you know, see the actual movie, like I'll know what's going to happen because all these damn previews and stuff, but. Anyway, no, I'm I'm down well, for it, obviously. So well, so have you heard the the other rumor about this? What it's going to be? About? <laughs> I mean, like where because Marvel is releasing a um, a facsimile of Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be based off of that, right? Yeah, well, that. Which yeah. was always the rumor in the beginning, anyways, right. right? That like all these the reason why all these actors are coming back is because Deadpool's killing them. Mm -hmm. So I mean. Mm, like is there some like correlation between reprints of whatever book to the to the movies mm. i feel like there is like good enough data to support that sure um am i banking on it i don't know i mean i've already sold my books so i don't really <laughs> care <laughs> right. he literally banked already like yeah easier yeah I already, yeah yeah 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, when I'm, I was a big fan of that series anyways. Yeah. And I bought slabs for like 30 bucks and I sold them for a hundred and something. So mm-hmm. I've already cashed out. Like, yeah. It was, That's it's, perfectly sound to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. and then personally, I like the second print covers of that whole run anyways. And I already have a full 98 set. And then I have two, issues one and two signed by J. Scott Campbell uh, in a 98. So there you go. Good like, to go. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, do I believe in those kind of rumors somewhat? But I, I, I'm just more patient to see, like, what they actually do with the film instead of listening to, like, experts that, <laughs> that yeah. have insider information and all that sure 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 i think i think there's gonna be a lot of info coming out no matter what happens from now until the movie comes out mm-hmm. and it'll be new rumors of this person showing up this person making a cameo this character making a cameo so i i don't i think it's gonna be endless um it, it's definitely uh it might get a little annoying at at some point, just because we, like Ferd said, we'll pretty much know the whole movie by the time it gets here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, because I've, I've heard things already, and see, I don't, I don't read the Reddit stuff, so I don't, I never, I don't even know how to use Reddit. Uh, I get confused. There's so many different articles that go off of articles that go off of articles that I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> I can't deal with that. Yeah. But the uh, things that oh, I, you, you were ahead. never on Dig back in the day. Oh no, no. Oh Dig. man! Holy cow! Wow! Yeah, that's I old. mean that's what Reddit is now. Yeah, like, I guess you're really right. Think, huh? Yeah, yeah. It always yeah. transfers for for like from one like sub form to another until another, and then like Zanga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a virus. It's like a yeah. virus. Yeah, because oh, there was something else besides Dig that was just as good before Reddit took the crown, right? Yeah, there was something else. Yeah. Well, I mean. The stuff that I hear, I never try to repeat it too much because half, more than half the times they're right. And so I don't like to spoil it for other people because that yeah. kind of ruins the fun. I, I've done that for my, my fellow team nerd herds before and, and they're like, all right, don't tell me no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm just, I'm excited to see Deadpool. That's all. Deadpool and Wolverine. Just give me a bunch of of that and not a bunch of making fun of people and I'm good to go. Yeah. I will say so, this. I'm, I'm looking forward to Deadpool, like resetting everything, you know? Oh yeah. That's, yeah. that's my anticipation of it. You know? Oh, I, oh. I, I'm more excited about the Deadpool gen <laughs> that's coming up. Deadpool gen. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know how Ryan Reynolds is connected oh. with the, that gen company. Yes. Oh, right, 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 right. They're right. doing limited edition bottles for Deadpool. Uh, huh. you you can pre-order it now. Uh, I'm not sponsored by this. I'm just a big fan of drinking gin. So, and to all you alcoholics out there, you know, you, you alcohol yeah. nerds, you're a gin we'll drinker. Gin I didn't know. Yeah, I would never known. It's because I, I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you drink Hendrix? Uh, I what, what, my typical is the uh, Bombay Sapphire. I'll pick Bombay. Try Hendrix. That's pretty good. Hendrix. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, good. Is that the green bottle? No, it's like it's very simple, basic looking bottle. It's like it's it's brown and it has like a it's like a diamond. And it says Hendrix in the middle and like uh, it's like cream color kind of like sticker on it. But it's a see, brown bottle. Okay, I'll I'll check yeah. it out. Yeah. See, I used to be a big uh, whiskey drinker, huh? and then like after you drink that for so much, uh, like when you drink it like water for too much like you can't drink it anymore like i can drink it i can have it like one like one glass but i don't go past that because i know what i get like (laughs) it's angry (laughs) no it's not that i just become real assholeish like even more so (laughs) Uh (laughs) even more so we don't want that well instead of being like a subtle subtle (laughs) asshole that's like how i consider myself now yeah uh, like i become more blatant (laughs) Who drinks gin? The Irish. Yeah, what is gin? What is? Uh, I thought it was English. Is it the English? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, because it was like a 
because uh, then they have a lot of dry gin and stuff like that. Ah, okay, mm. that makes sense. Yeah. Well, uh, there is more rumors going on here. Uh -huh. um, this is really far-fetching to me, and not far-fetching, but uh, kind of what Aaron mentioned before. Like any rumor for Secret Wars is going to be nor here nor there because it's so early in the process and the movie's definitely not coming out when they say it's coming out it's probably going to be pushed back later um so they're basically saying that a version of iron man will meet peter parker uh, our peter parker so a version of him from the 838 universe which is the universe with the illuminati <clears throat> that was basically murdered by the scarlet witch um he was one of the missing members from that uh, from that room, and uh, he's going to come back and try to get revenge. Um, I don't know about that rumor, but I mean, it sounds good. Uh, and it obviously would be a more villainous um, Iron Man, so maybe a superior Iron Man or something like that. But I don't know. What do you guys think about these kind of rumors? Because these are a dime a dozen, kind of what Aaron said. <laughs> that's a long time <laughs> be like uh, yeah Burr. i mean like it if this was like if this was announced more like after fantastic four or something like that or like even after x-men or before x-men right like i just don't care yeah <laughs> yeah why can't we just live in the present <laughs> just kidding. I, I'm, I'm with you, you. Know. I, I think a lot of these um rumors they're partially true at the time right like but someone things, heard it in a meeting right right exactly things get changed all the time so um and and i mean it storyboarding a movie takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of meetings and um there are a lot That's, of people involved yeah. that they need to research all of this stuff too right like so I, I just think it's just people hearing stuff that are being talked about at the time. And none of these things you just really want to listen to until it gets a lot closer. So, yeah. Yeah. I think like going back to like whole world kind of thought and this is with Disney specifically, like Iser is going to be there through 2026. I want to say like he was originally like thought to just kind of be an interim CEO. So, I mean, it's oh, probably a yeah. yeah um so he could fire feige like next year you know yeah. there's that possibility well, i was but... gonna say i would believe it more if they were in production right right oh right right well, right yeah right instead of just writing the story or like you know or figuring out the major plot points or whatever it is they're doing like if it's in production i feel like those rumors have are a little bit more valid right right like where people have pictures or you know, someone not working on sets making costumes or whatever weaponry. Like, there's a bigger chance of a leak from actual production because there's even a lot more employees around uh, working on that movie than that has knowledge of it currently. Right. And it, I feel like these rumors could also just be a reaction. Like, how mm. are people reacting to this kind of rumor? Like, are, do we keep this or not? Mm -hmm. like where it's more like a marketing technique i never thought of it that way that the leaks were actually leaked by the studios so they can get a sense of what to expect from the fans yeah because i mean it's a win-win for everyone right like right. no one knows that the studio is actually doing it like whatever exclusive news outlets like oh i got the exclusive and then they get free marketing research from people's comments on that. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, well, tinfoil hat on. It's my rumor. <laughs> I don't even know if this is true. Um, Spider-Man Four is poorly set to begin filming in the fall, and they're looking for Justin Lin to be the director, I guess. Um, but I don't even know if this is true because there have been so many conflicting rumors of what Sony wants for the next Spider-Man movie and what Kevin Feige wants for the next Spider-Man movie. Um, I don't even know if they signed a dotted on the dotted line yet. 
because you'd have to have Tom Holland signed. And he's been talking about he doesn't know if he wants to do it <laughs> um, because of the storyline. Right. He wants oh. to bring it back. He wants it more grittier. He wants it. He wants a, a challenge, an, an acting challenge. So he doesn't want to play the exact same character he's been playing for the last three movies, hmm. which is understandable. Right. Because every character has to grow. If you're going past three movies, you know, these, this many movies, um, you want to see growth in the character. So I can see that happening, him going to a darker Spider-Man. Uh, there's definitely room for that from the comic books. Um, so I don't know. What do you, are you guys excited for another Spider-Man movie after uh, No Way Home? Yeah. Um, I mean, Justin Lin, uh, a fabulous director. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'd be excited for him to actually direct the movie. Um, when you talk about grit, if if you're having Justin Lin direct a movie, I think that's perfect for grit. Um, I don't know if you guys are big Justin Lin fans, but he directed a movie called Better Luck Tomorrow. Have you guys ever heard? Yeah. Oh, I love that film. I yeah. saw that in the theater the opening weekend. <laughs> I yeah. did too. With all yeah. my all my all my cousins. I I was Dude. the only one in the theater. <laughs> that that ending, I was like, "What the hell is this? I need more of this, right? man." Because it's, uh, it's based on a true story. 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 Yeah, Tolson. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, it it like no, no. It, it's, it's it's really it's based, based on, on a true story. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like a book, like a tell-all book or it's whatever. It's a it's a SoCal school that it happened at. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I mean, if he can go, if he can take elements from that. And you know, put it in Spider Man Four, like hell yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah oh, I mean, I all think the, he's in all the Fast and Furious movies. Okay. Yeah, like Togo with, with those two things combined, I think it's it's a it's easy, right? It's a yeah. shoe in. Like sure. it's exactly what Marvel would or Spider Man watchers are gonna look for. Right. Like, you can just imagine his swoop scenes, right? Oh god, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it now. Now you're getting me excited. Now I hope Justin Lee gets the job. Yeah, that's a, whenever I hear Justin Lin's name, I think of that damn movie, and I'm like, oh, dude, like you don't even know. Yeah, I mean, it was such a it's, it was such a low budget film too, right? Yep. Like, and then a lot of the actors in that become big Asian actors. Yeah. And, and a ton of other films. So. Yeah. Yeah, the one actor from the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, the other actor, I think he went to Hawaii Five O and Harold and Kumar. Yeah, Harold and Kumar. So I mean great or great Harold, i should say yeah well <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh let's go on to one more rumor i think uh, it's not a rumor it's just uh florence Pugh kind of leaked out some information a uh, little video here and just kind of showing what's going on did he freeze I think he did. <laughs> oh, so I can continue talking until he gets back. But basically, uh, you see her walking on set um, uh -huh. in costume, uh, going up to the to the director, and then being like, "Oh, some things I can say, I can't say." Da 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 da. -da. I can show you this. I can show you that. And then she gets to to the end of the video, which is on Instagram. Um, they're at the director's chair and you see the movie title that is Thunderbolts. I just uh, picked up where you left off and then kind of explain it. kind of explain the rest of the video. Because yeah. you know, obviously Big Brother is watching, can't handle having three Asians on the on a show together. God. And then we were about to show something on in, off of Instagram, so they were like, ah, we gotta stop him. I, I, I stopped it because I figured I, at the last second, I was like, oh, that's going to give me a problem. And all of a sudden, I, I knew I was talking to myself. I didn't even, I stopped and go, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You, I just as, knew it. As soon as you froze or whatever, I was like, kind of like, I asked for it. I was like, is he frozen? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's frozen. <laughs> and I just kind of like, since I had watched it, uh, so I forgot who put it in the chat in our nirvana chat but shout out to that person from team murder <laughs> <laughs> what when oh, does this movie Steve. come out december uh no i believe it comes out next year oh god see it's like 
Well, I mean, it's, well, it's cool. I mean, it's cool. I mean, they're it's in production. Like, yeah, that's a legitimate rumor, you know? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. 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 I mean, it's coming directly from the actor and and mm-hmm. or it's a it's from an the actual set. Yeah. Yeah. From yeah. The actual set. They had the theater chair or the director's chair with the Thunderbolts title on it. Like, you know, it's getting made like mm-hmm. like unlo- unlike like some other franchises that, you know, that will probably never see the light of day again. Like, yes, like Blade. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it's taking so long. It's oh. hiring bad I, writers is bad writers. Yeah. At this point, it's just a reboot now because of like kind of like of the lesser snipes, right? What started well, started like the MCU to go into a, like there's a, a, speaking of Wesley Snipes, there's a rumor of him showing up in Deadpool. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> I mean but, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all for whoever they can get. Like at this point, like you know, yeah, no, I definitely, I, I'm expecting like Taylor Swift to, like be full fledged in it. Yeah, you know? Taylor Swift, Blake Lively. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see all of them. Honestly, I think I think all those gonna, rumors are pretty much true. Well, it's it's gonna be simple, right? They're gonna be all standing on one frame, and it's gonna be like the Sergeant Pepper of Willing Hearts Club. And then you never see them again in the film. <laughs> I could just see him showing up and then dying immediately. Yeah. I mean, he... Yeah. No, I expect like that too. Like from <laughs> a majority of the people that are said to be in the movie. I just hear Deadpool going, "Oh no, oh that's awful." You know, like. <laughs> no. Uh, I just want it to be fun. I want to enjoy myself. I I want to laugh my ass off. That's all. Yeah. But for the Thunderbolts, I mean, she basically is just showing you her new outfit or one of her new outfits, I'm sure. And uh, they showed the Thunderbolts um, title. Uh, it's nothing special, honestly. It's it's just, I think, to get the hype up that this movie is in the middle of production. Yeah. But it, like I said, I thought it was just a promo kind of thing. But yeah. that it's a secret. It's a leak. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a, a studio leak for sure, on purpose. Right. I mean, especially with the director right there, right? Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, we can get into some of these trailers here. So, have anybody seen the Bad Boys 4 trailer? I I saw the title, the that the writer died. I, I haven't watched the trailer. Okay. Uh, Ferd, have you seen the trailer? Um, I can't watch Will Smith anymore. Um, aha, yeah, Chris Rock's my boy, dude. I just can't do it anymore. I hate, <laughs> I just can't do any of those Smith guys. So, and man, like, it's the fourth, like, bad boys, man. Like, I don't know. Well, I mean, look at Martin, look at, look at uh, Martin. He's like, he, he's tired, he looks tired in that, in that clip right there. <laughs> So. He's been looking. He's been looking tired. Last couple of movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just waiting for the the opportunity to say, "I'm too damn old for this." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> damn, I Gina. wonder how many times he'll say it. <laughs> I, I really hope they do like a throwback to that. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm to, to, to die hard and just say it like at least once, right? Mm-hmm. I definitely. Um, Bad Boys was one of my favorite movies. Uh, I'm with you. I don't know if I can watch Will Smith right anymore. I don't know. Um, that his because I used to love his music too, and and now it just seems like yeah, got a little too Hollywood now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Went over the edge, and uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I just always think of South Park whenever I think of uh, Will Smith now. <laughs> South Park nails it every time. Yeah. I mean, even back then, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, if you guys are a Bad Boys fan, go check out the trailer. Um, Let's go to... How about the House of the Dragon Season 2? Have you guys been watching that? Have you seen the trailer for that? Never even watched Game of Thrones. So No shot! I've, I've seen the... So I tell the story to quite a few people, but uh, so the first time like I was ever exposed to it, like someone showed me the first episode and then like I didn't see him for a couple weeks and then they showed me the first episode again and they did it like a third time. So like if you showed me the Aww. first episode like three or four times, 
and I didn't continue watching it, do you think I'm going to really go seek it out on my own? But this is also a time period when I didn't have a TV. I didn't watch TV either. So, uh, yeah. But I, um, and then by the time I, I was like, kind of like, I don't care. I'll let other people enjoy it. That makes sense. I, that's me and uh, actually, that's like me and Family Guy. I'd always go into like a buddy's like room and they'd start they're like, yeah, watch Family Guy with me. And then they would like repeat the whole episode like just line for line i'd be like all right i can't watch this show because i'm listening to you talk about a show that you know you already want um <laughs> anyway um <laughs> ptsd uh yeah no i'm totally down for house of dragon too man for sure uh i actually just started reading the books again so mm. um i love house of dragon yeah i love me house of dragon all right i mean i love game of thrones period so um, i am with you uh Actually, I actually have almost the same experience as Aaron, where someone tried to show me, try to get me on Game of Thrones. I think they were midway through season one already. Mm -hmm. And I never heard of the show and I never heard of the books. So they started showing me the first episode. And I was like, OK, it was so slow. Yeah. So I, I was kind of like, eh. Mm -hmm. uh, and then i forgot when but at some point i must have had too much time on my hand i was like all right let me give this a try yeah so i i, I was able to watch the whole first season because it, by that time it it already passed so mm -hmm. yeah. watch the first season i was like all right this is not too bad this is let's start season show. two <laughs> yeah got me in trouble yeah um yeah i mean I, i'm technically i'm actually re-watching it right now um uh, yeah from the very I, beginning I, I cool. assume if you get past like three or five episodes within like uh, a week or or less or let's say two weeks or less, right? Then you're gonna finish the series. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, like I've seen I've seen the first episode of uh, of Game of Thrones and the last episode. Nothing in between. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it, it also like there was years in between too, so it doesn't make sense to me at all either. It was, it was literally just something to watch at the time. I get it. So. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It's if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. You just you're probably just watching it to, you know. I, I mean, but the weird part is, I like I like fantasy and stuff like that. Like where, like you mm -hmm. know, one of the first books I ever finished reading was The Hobbit. Well, that's a hard book to read. Yeah. But I mean, like, so I like that kind of stuff. I, mean, I used to play Warhammer. Um, I, I, you know, I'll admit that I've even done like a LARP session, but I mean, <laughs> I, I, I didn't get into it. So I, I, I at least tried, right? No, I mean, see to see if it was for me or not and, and it wasn't for me <laughs> i've never tried but i wouldn't mind you know just for the experience yeah exactly say i did it <laughs> yeah 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 Check i mean it off my uh you know bingo card i can see some people not wanting to watch game of thrones even if they watch a lot of fantasy just because you know people have that mentality where oh that this is just too popular or it's just, it's just too much to think I, I don't i don't really care i got life shit going on yeah so yeah i totally get it yeah I, i'm excited for house of dragon season two um i haven't read the books but i've heard from a lot of people a lot of friends like to tell me what happens in the books that's for sure um and uh kind of know what's gonna happen in the future and i'm like damn it you kind of ruined some of this for me <laughs> i really hope they don't stick to it exactly so yeah um we'll see what happens uh and i'm excited so uh, let's move on. One more trailer. Uh, the Penguin. So, if you guys don't know, The Penguin is going to be a show on the Ma on Max, and it is straight from uh, the Batman movie spinoff and uh, with Colin Farrell. Um, are you guys excited for this? Because I that trailer was pretty it's pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, it has that mob mentality thing, and you know. It, if you didn't already know it was Colin Farrell, like you can't tell it's him mm -hmm. by just looking at uh, like penguin photos and stuff like that. So, such um, a good job. 
Yeah, exactly. So I'm excited to see the uh, the series and see what it, what it, what it builds off of. And I'm excited for James Gunn taking the the helmet for DC stuff. Is this like part? This isn't like really part of the DC universe, right? It's just kind of like I, on the side uh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, so, oh, yeah, is, it's, it's in that playground with the other Batman stuff. So. Okay. Yeah, this is the spinoff from the Batman movie, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, that Batman movie <clears throat> is part of the uh, what is he? What do you call the uh, like Elseworlds kind of thing? Yeah, Elseworlds. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's that, but it's gonna it's under James Gunn and Saffron still. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so it's still under the DC Universe banner, just the Elseworlds, and uh, I don't know. I, I think this is gonna. I actually think this can go R rated. That's cool. I mean, that doesn't I, surprise me. With it being a max series yeah yeah you have to i think at this point if that's the if it's going on max right so i think this cool. is how you get away with it without making the batman movie r-rated because mm -hmm. that limits your audience yeah and um so you make the series r-rated and show like the underground being at darker than you even see in the movies yeah oh worries the nitty-gritty yes oh, yeah. that grit yeah, yeah. Seeing a yeah. lot of people get popped, you know. Oh, all, all the street street uh, level stuff, like yes, yeah, I'm down with that. Well, I mean, and it, I felt like it had that like mob feel to it too, right? The mob gangster. Yeah, definitely gives me a old school like Robert De Niro um, kind of mobster, you know, vibes. So, uh, or or um, the Sopranos or Godfather. So yeah, I, I'm I'm with it. Uh, Give me this all day. <laughs> yeah. All right. What one last article, guys? All right. So we were talking about this. Um, I know Aaron mentioned that he is a shareholder of Disney, and uh, there's been oh, a you're shareholder too. Uh oh, have you voted? we got multiple shareholders. Have you voted oh, yeah. yet? Have I you voted vote? yet? Yeah, for the uh, the start the annual stock meeting. You have until April second. Like, check you know with what? your. I never vote for those things, but um, since you did, I will now vote for that. For it, I, Lucas told me, or uh, Chillin's Greens and Cornbreads told me to uh, to vote. So, oh, okay, because he yes. knew I was a shareholder as well. Please vote. Um, yeah, and then go go with what the uh, shareholders are recommending. Or, okay. Yeah, recommendation, not the board. So there's two Always different the shareholders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you guys don't know, um, the there is that shareholders um, vote that's going to happen, I think, by April 3rd or Se April 2nd. Se yeah. Yes, April 2nd is when it ends. So the the basically the vote is about who's going to be running Disney. Um, well, there's also there's multiple things, right? Well, yeah, uh, right. like you're voting on certain board members to be approved to join onto the board. Um, there's certain um, like actions that require a majority of shareholders votes for uh, stuff like that. Well, nor normal shareholder, you know, duties, right? <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but the major thing that's been in the trades is who's going to run Disney going forward after this uh, vote. And uh, there have been, obviously, there's multiple factions, but the two main factions that are up for vote is Bob Iger, who is the current uh, CEO right now. And then there's this Nelson Peltz, who has been vying to take over and... Um, I explained last week that Nelson Peltz is being backed by Ike Perlmutter. And if you guys have heard that name before, um, it's because he was just let go about a year ago by Disney. <laughs> and he's a very large shareholder um, because he worked for Disney for so long. He used to be Kevin Feige's boss until Kevin Feige basically threatened to quit uh, if he was still under Ike Perlmutter. Because he was one of those people who was trying to um, cheapen how much spending they 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 use in Marvel, and uh, there was a lot of talks of not paying Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. to do the Avengers and Avengers Two movies, um, and uh, 
he's the guy who created Inhumans. <laughs> so the, 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 this guy does like he has a good track record record outside of Marvel, but he kind of blew up Marvel. Um, and uh, w this is what changed everything where Kevin Feige kind of just reports to Iger. Um, and uh, this Nelson Peltz guy <laughs> is something else. Um, he has a quote uh, from an article. And basically, he's been saying, um, you know, he's he's against all the woke agenda of Disney and, and um, Marvel, especially. And he's basically he sets a couple of things that I would not have said in public, even if I felt that way, um, because it just sounds bad. Um, he's basically said. Uh, let me find it here. I don't want to misquote it. That's why. Um, darn. Oh, basically, he said he doesn't want his. Why does Mar? Why does my Marvel have to be all women? Um, he goes, I I, I like women, but <laughs> that's you know. Oh, here it is. Why do I? Why? Do I have to have Marvel that's all women? Not that I have anything against women, but why do I have to do that? And that starting off that way, you're already making yourself look bad by saying, oh, I have nothing against women, but I'm going to say something bad about women. <laughs> and then uh, why can't I have Marvels that are both? Why do I need an all black cast? Um, and he even criticized the... Uh, question the record of Kevin Feige. So there's a lot of things going on here that I'm just surprised anybody vying to run a company this huge would say publicly. Um, oh, you actually do vote for Bob Iger. Yeah. Like yeah. if you approve or don't approve. So that's kind of interesting as a shareholder. You have, you could have like a sway in that. You guys all do. Um, it's mostly going to be the largest shareholders that have the sway, obviously. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I have a pitiful amount. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just, it, it makes no sense to, I don't know, maybe in this world it makes sense now um, to, to just be brash and, and say what the hell you want um, without feeling there's any repercussions for it. Um, but... Freedom of speech goes both ways, right? Uh, yeah. you, you have the freedom of speech, but you can suffer consequences from saying whatever you want to say. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. I, this, this sounds, I mean, misogynistic. It sounds racist. It, it just, it's a bad look, even if he's not those, you know, characteristics. Mm -hmm. If he's just an old man with old ways, old thinking, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and it's just funny that he would say, I question uh, Kevin Feige's record. Um, if anybody has any weight in this Disney company besides Bob Iger, it's Kevin Feige. He has the most uh, money brought in in the history of any producer in the history of, of Hollywood. He's brought in $30 billion with 33 movies, basically averaging a billion dollars a movie. Uh, and so I don't know how you question that. Um, and, and that's, and, but that goes to another thing where everybody blames Kevin Feige because he's the face of Marvel. Mm -hmm. And this is why I always say, um, oh. everything's always deeper. Oh, you're saying like basically that, no matter if he's doing good or bad, so it's not going to satisfy everyone. So someone's going to complain. It's exactly what it's what's going to happen. Because if you're the face, if you're the head, um, you're the person, the first person anyone blames, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that that's uh, heavy. The the crown, you know, heavy the head that wears the crown. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm not saying he's king, and I'm not saying he's right all the time. He's definitely got it wrong plenty of times, um, but I trust in his record. I trust that his his history. I trust that he knows what he's doing. Um, just went through a bad, you know, rough spot 
uh, especially with all the CEO changing that's going on in Disney. Um, it's happened uh, at least twice now, right? Um, went to from Bob Iger to Bob Chapek, then back to Bob Iger. And, um, you know, it's it, it, if you guys don't understand Hollywood, Hollywood works a lot differently than other businesses work. Um, there's a creative side and there's a financial side. Mm-hmm. And there's always going to be a fight between the two. So um, and be, that's how their business works. Um, so I don't know if. I'm hoping that people will vote for the right person. I'm not going to tell people who to vote for. I say, you guys got to do your research. You guys read what's going on. Um, But this doesn't sound good for this guy. And I don't know if Disney can survive him being in charge. Um, Well, I I would say as a watcher of the stock and the company in general, since Iger has been at the helm at Disney, it's like, what, what else does I, I mean, they brought him back to pump up the stock price. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you guys are watching CNBC today, but Disney's at a 52 week high. Um, so I would say going into a vote on April 4th, which is what, seven days from now, would you go, would you vote for the guy who has the stock at a 52 week high? Like, what have you done for me lately? That pays a dividend that has cash flow, um, that has an array of, that has like basically no movies coming out that's going to, punch the bottom line i mean he's make uh, you know forget the mcu or marvel um people are still going to parks all over the world and they're increasing ticket prices right yeah, that's not, and it's people are still paying those so yeah you know and, and then they just dropped 1.5 billion into uh epic games right oh dude i mean so he's making moves other than marvel you know right exactly so yeah. I, mean, I think they were even talking about expanding um, their Walt Disney in Florida because they have so much land that's not been, you know, developed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're actually talking about expanding again. Oh, and uh, speaking of Florida, they settled yesterday or, or today. Of course they did. Yeah. So I mean, right? So he's ma- so all those things that are kind of like the he's making them go away. The headwinds. All problems. Are, yeah. So you're an idiot if you don't vote for Bob Iger to keep it going, and Bob Iger be it. Like you said, Jeff, like, yeah, um, I think Disney or Marvel's been like the, I hate to say it, the Patriots of like film. And, you know, he's had some bad steps, but Iger's basically, I think, going in there saying like, hey, we got to step up the program. You got like a year to figure things out. And I, you know, there's not real, real proof other than canceling shows that aren't working or projects that aren't going to work. Um, but I think you, if you're, if you're smart, uh, you know, set aside the like the comments this Nelson Peltz idiot made. Um, <laughs> like, we're at a fifty-two week freaking high on the stock price, man. There, you'd be an idiot to not vote for Iger to continue his work and and allow someone else to take over after he's done. Um, you know, for the next two to three years or whatever that he's going to be at Disney. Just my opinion, but what do I know? Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you should know. I mean. You, you, you bought stocks and you were smart enough to keep it and hold on to it and know that it was going to go up. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, and it matters to you guys because you guys are stockholders, shareholders. Mm-hmm. So it definitely matters financially for you guys uh, and especially for the future. Um, I, I would never go with anyone who would disrupt that that flow. Yeah. Uh, that That's it. Uh, you don't even have to care about like like what you said whatever whatever he said you don't even have to care about that you just got to care about where's the money going so uh i really hope that everybody does the right thing and uh because it's to me the type of person pelts is is um it's just a financial guy and once you only have a financial guy in charge who doesn't let the creatives breathe uh that's an era of Disney that you guys are not going to want to see. You might say you don't like all this woke stuff here in in Disney movies and Marvel movies and stuff like that. Or you don't like, you know, what the stories are telling people and um, or why do they have to have a meaning? Uh, All movies have a meaning. (laughs) I don't care what movie it is. It's not to be a Disney movie. So like, just make sure that you're, 
looking in the right direction and hope that it, you know, you think the grass is green on the other side when it's really not, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a, it's a, it's a harsh reality when it comes true. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and give it a couple of years, star Wars and Marvel will come back a lot better, stronger, um, because Iger have made these moves in the last year or two. So, um, it takes, it takes time for those changes to happen. So, um, be patient. That's all. Uh, any, any thoughts, Aaron? Oh, I was just looking over my ballot to see like some of these people, like what the, like what the board is recommending and what, uh, I'm trying to find like what the shareholders recommendation hmm. is, but like what I use to, uh, to vote off of, uh, doesn't have that for some reason. It's kind hmm. of weird, but I wonder if that's just like my stockbroker didn't provide that information or what. I mean, I use Charles Schwab. It's not like I use like something like sketchy, like Robin Hood. Just saying, like I actually have investments. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get those free two, two stocks. Oh. You're making a trade. We're signing up for. I mean, stocks to me is just like. I mean, I hate to sound like rich people shit, but like, like it's just dividend money that I play around with. That's what it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. Honestly. Like, yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, I really hope, uh, you know, you guys let us know what you guys think about all of this stuff and, and especially the, the trailers and, and what's going on. And, um, but before we get going, um, uh, for, do you, do you have anything to promote? We, we want to promote your, uh, show. You want to promote your, uh, where they can find you uh yeah for sure um yeah appreciate it man um so yeah like uh you know my buddy and i we we did a show like oh i guess i'll post it in the private chat here um and i know uh we're definitely team near herd fans for sure in our discord as well uh but yeah I mean, my buddy and i we did this comic book channel like a year ago basically as an excuse for me to make fun of him on live tv and uh even you know my, my thing's kind of like the market and uh you know how how comic books are doing or just like you know speculation obviously and whatnot and we always try to keep people in the you know keep money in people's wallets or like not have them go over the next fomo show or whatever but um yes you know we try to do every sunday uh brian early at 10 8, 10 o'clock pacific time i'm on i'm in seattle so if you ever need a funko ever it's like 30 minutes away from where i live they have all the exclusives there I like, like walk by that place all the time. I guess you can see the funkles behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like I wish you didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, literally, like um, I my my bank uh, the bank I work at um they ha we have a branch office and um the building is actually connected like, to it. It literally no, literally it is. It literally is connected. Oh, to it. yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. just joking Crap. around. Yeah, it's like it's like so, it's one so he has even, Yeah, so he has even higher security clearance than you would think. Like yeah, he's exactly. like right. He's breaking the back rooms for you, like in yeah. cases and stuff. Yeah, 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 right, right. Um, yeah. but it's That's it's a, you know if you ever allegedly, 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 allegedly. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm in I'm in Seattle, so like I think I rented Comic Tom a couple times and Mill Geek and all those guys. So, uh, they're nice dudes. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, we just trying to keep it chill. And I'm I mean I've been I've been watching you guys for a long time anyway. I I remember seeing it's weird to see Yeezy here like talking like I mean we. You know, we're pretty close, I would say. Um, I used to watch the dude during the pandemic and like, you know, Red Hood and all those guys. So it's weird. Same, like, like same. Three years from now, I'm like doing a podcast with you guys. It just baffles me, right? But it's cool, you know? So I appreciate oh, you guys having yes. me on. I'm, yeah. I'm celebrity. <laughs> you kind of were like, honestly, like no, like no, no fluff or nothing. But like, I was like, yeah, I like that guy. Easy, man. He's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I mean, like I got my start all through Drunken Chat. Like, yep. Well, okay. So here's the real story. Mm -hmm. I I was a big supporter of Bird City when they were Facebook Live sellers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I was getting really good deals from them at the mm -hmm. same time, where yeah. you know they, they were making money, I was making money, like, uh, like so it worked out or whatever. And then they announced that they were going on to the Hot Ten, and so I was like, cool, I'll check that out, see what it was. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, 
oh, like I just started participating in chat and I was like, oh, awesome. Like a bunch of like minded people. Like I found my like comic people. Like it's right. amazing when you stumble upon it, right? Yeah. And then, um, and then I guess like Mel started noticing like stuff I was writing. And then I would eventually start watching Drunken Chat. And then I would participate in chat there because, you know, by that point in time, we're hitting pandemic. Yeah. And, um, and then, there's nothing to do on a Friday, Saturday night, right? Except yeah, for like horrible. stare at your phone. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, and then like just being so obsessed with comics at the time, like my brother was tired of talking about comics with me. He's like, find your own friends. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Cause I mean, he was collecting at the time too. Yeah. But, but like not at the extent of where it's like, oh, it's amazing to see like, like this $3 book jump up to 20, 50 bucks. Like it's exciting. Yeah. And, the, and then, uh, and I started watching all the different shows weekly and stuff like that. And then uh, Mel had an open open door where it was just like kind of like, hey, like, I know you drunken sharks are awake, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you want to ever be on a podcast, like, message me on IG right now. I will send you a link. <laughs> and then I took the opportunity. I was like, oh, I have a computer. I have a camera. Like, why not? Yeah. Yeah. And then that's that's pretty much how it all just like kind of snowballed into culminated, all, yeah, yeah, into all those different shows I I jumped on. So yeah, it's cool. yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I I wish I had jumped in like six months to a year earlier. Um, but I was because... watching Spine Ticks too, and I saw you jump on 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 mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember and, seeing and you on Spine Ticks too, Jeff. Yeah, sure. yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I would say like about the same time I was jumping on Drunken Chat. Yeah, I just I have a love for comics that it's it's just it's weird for me sometimes that like life makes you choose what you can do and can't do some at certain times in your life, mm -hmm. and at at a certain time I I. I had to stop collecting, you know, didn't have enough money for extra stuff. Um, I've lost plenty of jobs. <laughs> so um, uh, until I've gotten really established uh, within the last six years, um, like I, I didn't know what I could do, you know, get back into these hobbies that I really loved. And it just happened that Funko came along and, 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 that kind of sidetracked me from getting back into comics because I, I was also collecting what? um back when uh but it's adjacent it? I would yes. say it was very adjacent. for sure actually yeah, I, mean... I blame my comic book store because that's where I saw my first Funkos mm -hmm. yeah so um and 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 I was collecting I think when Ultimate Spider-Man 4 I mean Ultimate Fallout 4 came out that's what the first day I came back to collecting, um, wow. and and then um, and then I dropped off because of Funko Pops, <laughs> and then I had it, and then I came back once the pandemic happened. Right, like I was like, yeah. oh, I'm over wow. these Funko Pops, and uh, I, I man, I I if I could go back at the start of pandemic, I would just sell as much as possible. <laughs> like, oh my god. I know. I want to buy yeah. shit. I want to buy a damn thing. I, I would have bought nothing and yeah. just sold everything. And I then know. agreed. And then anything mm -hmm. that like I would want back, I'd be buying back right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for a hundred dollars, what I spent last week or the week before, I was like, I can't believe the books I got. And these books would are like maybe fifty to a hundred dollars each during the pandemic. <laughs> and I got like six different books. So yeah. It's amazing what ha what you can buy now. So yeah. everybody, like, go out there and buy your pumice now. <laughs> I mean, like, I felt like there was a lot of stuff that needed price correction, mm -hmm. which happened, and then, like, I don't think it'll ever dip back down to the prices that we were seeing before before that, like in that yeah. 2015 to 2018 period on certain books. I'm not saying all books. I'm saying certain books that I will say most key books will never go back to pre pandemic prices. Um, There's no way people yeah. got too uh, smart. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it'll float around like prices that you're more comfortable paying. Or you'll never buy that comic book ever again. <laughs> yeah. 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 At that point, you just move on. There's so many comic books to, 
to buy and collect. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, let's give a shout out one more time to our sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we were talking about prices and comic books and our collections. So if you want 30 days of unlimited cover price for only 99 cents, you got to type in the code Nerdvana14. It'll help you out a ton. Uh, and then our pals over at Bird City Comics, you got to go support them. If you want any of their store exclusives, you can get 10% off their purchase by typing the code TNH10. And there goes my voice. <clears throat> and then you can visit our our friend at DisplayGeek.com. You can protect all your toys, your video games, okay. your Funko Pops. You can display them as well. They have these uh, build-it-yourself shelves. Um, and you can get 10% off your first purchase by typing the code Team Nerd Herd. Sweet. All right, fellas. Uh, anything else left to say? I will see y'all on Thursday. For yes, go check them story. out. Sorry, sorry. Tomorrow, long story short, it's a great, great show. Talks about those rare comics. Comics I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely go check them out. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll watch you guys. I try and watch you guys on Thursdays. My Thursdays are crazy, but um, if I ever jump in, I love watching you guys, man. Uh Brings me back to the old COVID days of watching you guys on Thursdays, man. Oh, man. It, it's kind of cool Crazy. now that like like there's no pressure from like yeah management and stuff like that. They, you guys look so much like, more chill. It's like, just kind of whatever. It looks good. yeah. We yeah. had fun like when like back in the day when we were getting started and stuff like that. So that's mm -hmm. the way I feel about it now. And then it's it's kind of cool that like you know that we're still all friends and all that. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It, it just gives us time to like you know talk about the hobby we love yeah it's yeah i i definitely got back to that when we first started youtube getting on youtube where i it's just like talking to your friends geeking out but we're just mm -hmm. doing it on youtube yeah yeah for yeah. sure that's that's the fun yeah so well if you guys want to do it right you guys collect what you like or watch what you like all right peace out everyone thanks guys Thank you.